look for the synonym of the word luxury, the Range Rover Vogue is what you'd find. Welcome to the review of the best that Range Rover has to offer. Vogue is better than before because it's so refined. What's primarily different would number one be these grills. They have wider gaps than before and that's what makes it so prominent. Number two would be these lights. These lights are breathtaking because these eyes are pixel laser LED lights. What's so good about them is that they're really bright so they would even suffice at night. But in case you're in total darkness, you have 144 LEDs that come to the rescue when your headlights are switched on. An interesting feature is that the car has a sensor that detects cars coming in on the opposite direction while you're on high beam. And when that happens, the car automatically lowers the beam until the car could pass by. So that doesn't have the driver being annoyed on the opposite side and neither does it distract them. So that's a very interesting feature. Also, it has an auto lights mode that adjusts brightness of these lights depending on your surrounding. So very well done on the lights alone. Hopping over to the side, the side pretty much looks similar to what it looked like before the facelift. We're looking at 22 inch wheels, followed with a sleek side as always. In this case, you cannot see the lower accent graphics because that is the same color as our car today. But you do have an option of having this area with another color. So that would really highlight that entire side. Hopping over to the back. What's also part of the new facelift are these new brake lights. I honestly am not a huge fan of them because I feel they're a little disconnected in comparison to how it looked like before. Before you also had it um, a little red on the side over here, so that's missing in the new one. All you have are two individual pods that light up really bright. So I'm not a very big fan of that, but regardless, the car still looks bold and is absolutely beautiful to look at all over. So. All in all, beautiful car. So welcome to the interiors of the most luxurious cabin ever made by Range Rover and that is the Range Rover Wolf 2018. What's so different is the center console in comparison to what it looked like before. So it's completely touched. You have two screens of 10 inches each. This is your infotainment hub, which is on the higher deck. On the lower deck is your climate control seats, vehicle and other kinds of settings. You also have the climate control knobs over here, which is again touch. This controls your temperature. And when you push the knob over here, you have the option of seat ventilation as well. So that's very interesting. It's so different compared to before with all those buttons that made it look a little tacky. So this is so clean. You have storage compartments further underneath that. So this is what you could slide open. You have cup holders. And underneath that, a secret storage compartment, which is so deep, like half my hand fits right into it. So that's pretty impressive as well. You have armrests, a armrest glove compartment box. So you got a little storage over here. And underneath that, you have a cool box facility. So you can always stay cool during summertime. So that's pretty much it about the center console. Moving over to the driver's perspective, the windshield is nice and big, gives you a very clear view no obstructions whatsoever. The steering wheel I absolutely adore. Number one, because of this new look that it has. So previously you always had these fat buttons which never really looked so classy, but this new trackpad-like feel looks beautiful. It's so smooth and it, they are buttons, but they're just so smoothly done. You can also adjust volume, not only with the buttons, but are actually moving your fingers into a clock and anti-clock motion so that's pretty cool on the right you have the speed controls as well as some safety features so you have your speed limiter cruise control lane keep assist adaptive settings etc so the steering wheel on and all looks beautiful has leather accents wood accents i really like this new steering wheel so that's pretty much it about the front let's hop over to the back and let me show you what the back's about the back is so spacious and so comfortable. Honestly, I'd love to be chauffeured in one of these. So this is a five-seater and you can also make it a four-seater because this is also a nice, comfortable armrest. 
you have cup holders and a little bit of a storage option over there. It's not too big, but serves the purpose. You have uh, aircon centralized towards here and it could be controlled. These seats are ventilated the same way you just need to push these knobs to control that ventilation. Underneath that you have plug points. On my left here that I'm sitting, I can control the lights, I can control the windows on both sides and I can even control the sunroof. So that's a pretty interesting option. The lights again are touch based so it's, it's all about the technology in this car. So I'm very impressed with it all in all. The Vogue has some incredible features. My favorite one being this, a gesture activated sunroof control. So I can open it, I can stop it and even shut it with that sensor panel over there. If not, you can also obviously open it with the buttons that it has over here with the sliding buttons. It also has touch monitored light control. So I can just tap the light and that's how it switches on. So you don't have buttons for that. It has incredible safety features. You have things like adaptive cruise control, speed limiter, which is so helpful. You have blind spot monitoring, blind spot assist, lane keep assist, and uh, lane departure warning as well. So a bunch of safety features. Hopping over over here, you can adjust the suspension. So the levels could be adjusted from over here. And of course, higher levels help you with off-roading and you have a normal height, which also could be selected right over here. So that's pretty much it about the off-roading part of it on the off-road information system. Let's think about it. Do Range Rover owners actually take the cars off-road? Barely. So pretty much why we're not taking it off-road, we're going to show you how it performs on tarmac. So I'm going to buckle myself in. The gear is a rotary knob. So that's pretty much standard on all kinds of Range Rover models. So not specific with the Vogue. That's pretty standard. Now, I've been stressing so much about how the Range Rover is so luxurious on the outside, so luxurious on the inside. I cannot stress how you can experience luxury while you're behind the wheel. This experience, honestly, I haven't faced it with any other car yet. I haven't experienced it with any other car, rather. So it's beautiful. The drive is so smooth and the cabin is so quiet. And that's because of the glass windows. They are double insulated glass. So the cabin is as quiet as it can get. And in regards to your engine, this is a 5.0 supercharged V8. So supercharging just is epic. Best feeling in the world. It turns out about 550 horses and has 625 newton meters of torque. And that is some serious torque for a car of this size. So your 0 to 100 is in about 5.4 seconds, which is so impressive, again, considering how heavy this is and how huge this car is. As I'm going to say it again, that driving this is an absolute pleasure. It just gives you that joy. It, it makes you feel good. Driver's perspective, I've, as mentioned, the windshield is nice and big, so you don't really have any obstructions in the way. You have a clear view. It's You, you can look at the bonnet very clearly so you know exactly where about uh, the car ends, where about it starts. So it gives you that clear, clear, crystal clear view. So the Range Rover Vogue is known to be the pinnacle of the SUV industry. Luxury packed and filled with modern technology, it stands at 648,000 dirhams here in the UAE. This is an exquisite vehicle. Driving it makes you feel so royal and I've thoroughly enjoyed this car. All I can say is that it's only going to get better in time. Let us know what you think about the car in the comments below and hey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.